I am safely tucked away near that area in Queen Street. And let me tell you, from what we heard in the last hour from John, he was over at Primanti Brothers eating. He said this sounded like an explosion. Well, after seeing this, you can see how one can come to that conclusion. Just take a look at the accident. It's right behind us here. And the dump truck that collided with that bridge overpass here, you can see it. And you can see the huge dent that was made likely upon the impact there. It's simply a, a mess, to put it quite frankly. You've got lanes shut down. You've got traffic just backed up everywhere leading into the area. I mean, this is an area that would normally take us around 15 minutes to get here. It took us 25 because everywhere you go, people are trying to find a way around this accident to get to their destination safely. Now, as far as what we're seeing going on at the scene, people are really trying to figure out how to get this dump truck or what's left of it, I should say, out of the area. I'm told that PennDOT will be sending crews down to also inspect the bridge. You see one person there. If we zoom out, I believe you can see one person is above there, you know, examining the cracks and the and the dents that was put in up there. But again, back to what's going on down below. We've seen quite a few people trying to look at the area to see how they can begin to get what's left of that dump truck out. So we will continue to stay on the scene here and monitor what's going on. We're also going to try and get more information as to how this even happened. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But for now, live in your county, I'm Jeremy Jenkins for WGAL News 8.